I'm actually smelling a lot of jalapenos. Something tells me that he might be disguised. I'm Hot Sauce Chucky Tim, and today's show is going to be another sauce review from High Desert Sauce Company. You guys know, Zach Perkins sent me a box of four hot sauces. I reviewed two of them. And we got two left. So no waiting around. I'm grabbing one, and we're going to review it. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be a review on the Fire Roasted Red. I did review the Fire Roasted Green. Absolutely outstanding. Uh, if you guys didn't see the review, please check it out. The consistency of that hot sauce just blew me away. You guys know I love consistency. I love chunks. I love chewing on stuff. That didn't just have, you know, chunks and seeds. It actually had, like, had like little, like, strains of, like, peppers in it. It was just freaking awesome. So, this is Fire Roasted Red. All right, it says here, heat ratings are hot. Okay, so I was wrong. I was with thinking fire roast of red I thought might have been like red jalapenos because the other one was green a verde sauce which is jalapenos guess I was wrong you are wrong all of you are wrong right it says here heat seekers rejoice it's gonna be a hot one I think all right it says let the flames wash over you as the savory heat of the fire roast of poblano jalapeno with habanero ghost a Carolina Reaper peppers boiled devilishly over the flavorful base of fire rosa, tamansil, garlic, and onion. All right, I'm not gonna, you guys, I'm not gonna read the rest of that stuff. But um, yeah, it's a lot of peppers in the hot sauce, eh? Yeah. All right, there's their heat scale listed as hot. So this will probably be the first hot, labeled hot hot sauce I've had from High Desert Sauce Company. So, well, let's see how hot it really is. All right, so while I'm opening up here, again, you guys like, uh, again, I like to teach, I like to learn. So as I was researching the company, come to find out that Zach Perkins, the owner of the sauce company, actually used to be a painter. So he started out, which was kind of cool. All right. Shame on you. Hey, when that happens. All right, let's shake it up again here, guys. I did have a perforated seal, but uh, it didn't work in my favor. But regardless, we got the seal off. All right, so it says roasted red. Now, it's the color is very similar to the color of my table. It's got a brown color, a lot of seeds. I love the looks of that, a lot of speckles. Let's check out that aroma. Okay. Now, I'm not getting much of the Carolina Reaper aroma like I thought I was going to. Now, for me, with my senses, if, there, if it's a Carolina Reaper product, for some reason, it's just me, the Carolina Reaper just overpowers everything. I'm actually smelling a lot of jalapenos. Something tells me that he might be disguised. Let's find out. Let's check out the pour. Again, like every sauce I've had from High Desert Sauce Company, the consistency is just absolutely dynamite. Look at that pour. That's just it's perfect. I mean, sometimes a consistency is so thick that I'm wrapping the bottle against the spoon, or else it starts out really slow and then it just dumps and I make a mess. This just poured out perfectly. Yeah, I'm, I'm smelling, I'm smelling jalapenos and salt, maybe a little garlic. Let's see how hot this is. I'm hot sauce, Chucky Tim. Let's do this.
Okay. Now, there we go. Carolina Reaper Pepper saying hello. You had me at hello. Yeah, Ghost Pepper's knocking on the door. <coughs> Say no. Don't forget about me. I had a feeling that that aroma was this blanketing the Reaper and the, and the Ghost Pepper. I'm right. So it's got some heat. Feeling back the throat. <clears throat> it's warm. Let's give it a minute for my heat scale. Let's check out these ingredients. First ingredients, peppers. Seems to be the common denominator with a high dirt sauce company. Listen, peppers is number one. That's a good thing. First ingredient is always the dominant one, right? Like I said, poblano, jalapeno, <coughs> habanero, ghost, Carolina reaper. <coughs> Vinegar, tomato, onion, garlic, kosher salt, peppercorns. Okay, like I said, salt, garlic, <coughs> jalapeno aroma, the reaper bird. But it's not crazy hot. Okay, that's me. I'm not normal. I'm not average. It comes to heat. I'm on a different level from the average people. Average person, I should say. But heat scale for me, I'm going to give us a very, very low three. <clears throat> now, strangely enough, like I said, I felt the burn in the back of my throat, right? Now let's move on to my tongue. Good burn. Good, decent burn. Average person, you may be looking at a five, a high five, but it's good. It's not crazy. I don't know, maybe my heat skills, maybe my tolerance higher than I thought, uh, but I don't think it's that hot at all. But what's the most important thing? It's the flavor, right? The flavor is dynamite. The flavor is outstanding. The flavor is delicious. All right, it says here, dial up the heat and flavor of your breakfast, lunch, or dinner with fire. Roast to red. So they're saying that this hot sauce is very universal. You can use it from anything, from any breakfast food item, lunch item, dinner item. I absolutely agree. Um, guys, I, I can't really pinpoint a certain food item that I would put this on because you want to know why? I'd put this shit on anything. I put that on everything. <laughs> Where'd that saying come from, huh? Got High Desert Sauce Company. Again, Zach, you nailed yet another hot sauce. I'm telling you, man, your consistency is probably, you're ranked up there in my top when it comes to consistency. This, I just love, look at that. That's just beautiful. I don't like that water to run me crap, guys. I love chunks. I love seeing chunks. I love seeing seeds, speckles. I love chewing on stuff. I just keep saying it, but I'm telling you guys. Guys like consistency and hot sauce, check out High Desert Sauce Company. You will not be disappointed. Zach, nice work. <clears throat> the next time, hot sauce, Chucky Tim, and a Frito Pepper.